Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the real value of x given that x root of 6 plus x root of 9 equals x root of 4. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. So, we have here x root of 6 plus x root of 9 equals x root of 4. I know we have different methods to answer this kind of question. But here's one way to solve this kind of problem. First thing to do is to divide all terms by x root of 4. Our goal is to make the right hand side be equal to just 1. Now, x root of 4 over x root of 4 is just 1. Now, let's take note of this law of radicals. If we have n root of a over n root of b, it is equivalent to n root of a over b. Therefore, this x root of 6 over x root of 4 can be written as x root of 6 over 4. Also, this x root of 9 over x root of 4 can be written as x root of 9 over 4. Now let's simplify. 6 over 4 is just 3 over 2. Now this 9 is 3 squared and this 4 is 2 squared. And 3 squared over 2 squared can be written as 3 over 2 raised to the power of 2. Again, let's recall some identity. If we have the nth root of b raised to m, it is equivalent to the nth root of b raised to the power of m. Therefore, this x root of 3 over 2 quantity squared can be written as x root of 3 over 2 quantity squared. Now, what is the purpose? Now, take note that we have similar terms right here, x root of 3 over 2. So, we can replace this with another variable and let's call this as y. Therefore, this expression is just y. And this expression right here is just y squared. Now, we have a quadratic equation in terms of y. We have y plus y squared equals 1. Now, let's rearrange some terms a little bit and equate this to 0. Now, we have y squared plus y minus 1 equals to 0. Now, let's solve for the value of y using quadratic formula. We have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, the value of a given this quadratic equation is the coefficient of y squared, which is 1. So, let's replace all a with 1. Now, the b is the coefficient of the y variable, which is 1 also. So, let's replace all b with 1. Now, c must be equal to the constant term, which is equal to negative 1. Now, let's simplify. Negative 4 times negative 1 is just positive 4. 1 squared is just 1 plus 4 is just 5. Therefore, we get that the value of y must be equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, take note that y must be also equal to the x root of 3 over 2. Now, also take note that x is a real number. Therefore, the value of y given this equivalent x root of 3 over 2 must be strictly greater than 0. Therefore, we can now exclude the negative value for y. Thus, we can say that y must be equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now, we have two different values for y and let's equate them. We have now x root of 3 over 2 must be equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now, let's simplify the left-hand side of our equation x root of 3 over 2 can be written as 3 over 2 raised to 1 over x. Now, to solve for the value of x, we will use logarithm because x is in the exponent. So, let's take the logarithm on both sides and take note that we have logarithm in base 10. Now, since we use logarithm on both sides, we can now use the property of logarithm. If we have logarithm of b raised to n, it is equivalent to n times logarithm of b. Therefore, the left-hand side of our equation can be written as 1 over x times logarithm of 3 over 2. 
Now, let's solve for the value of x. First thing we need to do is to multiply both sides by x. Next, divide both sides by logarithm of negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And now, let's recall this identity. If we have logarithm of a to the base of c over logarithm of b to the base of c, we have the same base. Therefore, this can be written as logarithm of a to the base of b. Now, take note that our logarithm right here is in base 10. Therefore, they have the same base. Thus, the left-hand side of our equation can be written as logarithm of 3 over 2 to the base of negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Therefore, the value of x in this equation must be logarithm of 3 over 2 to the base of negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now, the value of x is approximately equal to negative 0 0.84259. And as always, we are done.